this is going to be is about how to take care of our bodies, how to steward our bodies. And part of that maximized living is going to extend themselves. So after, to, after we finish this interview, we're going to be accepting 8 to 10 applications from any student here who wants a makeover. And you want to have a 40-day challenge. We're going to assign you a doctor that's going to mentor you for 40 days free of charge. Get that star treatment that Lecrae gets. I know you don't think he's a star, he's a star. And you're going to be able to get the same information and the same attention that he gets for 40 days, which will hopefully propel you into this new lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, they're going to have a table set up in the back. There goes Dr. Gino right there. Dr. Gino's probably lost about 70 pounds now. 60 pounds. 60. You're going to last 10? All right. And, and Dr. Eric is another guy back there. You guys make sure if you want to go for the makeover challenge, go sign up. Here's the thing. They're only going to accept two people per person. And they're only going to take the people who are serious. I don't, I don't want to waste my time with people, and I know they don't either. And they're going to interview you, and they're going to find out if you're really serious enough to stay the course and finish out the 40 days, which will hopefully propel you into this lifestyle. I was listening to my pastor Jason yesterday during the staff meeting. He says, you have to grind through the discipline until it becomes a habit. You know, when you grind through that, those 40 days may be tough. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Some of y'all are going to have to go on a fast with some of this food we've been eating and consuming. Amen. So we're going to commit as a body, together, all of us, to live healthier lifestyles like our boy Lecrae. Amen? Amen. All right, so what is your ultimate goal as an artist, and how important is it for you to surround yourself with the right people? Uh, my ultimate goal is to change the way people see the world. So I want, I want everybody to see things from God's perspective. And, uh, you know, I think when we see things from God's perspective, the world is a different place. Um, and it's very important to have the right people around you. You know, if you want to be a pigeon, hang out with pigeons. You want to be an eagle, hang out with eagles. Yeah, that's so, simple. Y'all can remember that. I don't want no pigeons, no scrubs. They don't know about TLC. They're too young for that. No pigeons, or no scrubs. I love that. Now, you said you mentioned 116 click earlier. Yeah, 116. Are you still tight with them? You still feeling in? Those are my dudes, man. 116 is, is, you know, there's a group of us that are artists that rap. We go by 116. But 116 is a movement, a movement of unashamed believers. And uh, we just live unashamed lifestyles. You know, no matter what we do, where we go, we're not ashamed of what we believe in. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. I love that. And I want to encourage you, too, all of us, like, you know, down here, man, we always we always hear the term movements. You know, a lot of people think, man, this is a movement. They do something for two weeks. It's a movement. It's a movement. You know, and, and I've noticed a lot of these movements are fading out. You know, and, and, and what I love about what you're doing, for me, it's bigger than a movement, dog. It's a revolution. Okay. You know, you revolutionizing the game. Movements come and go. You know, I've seen several movements. You know what I'm talking about. These clicks get their three year runs and they're done. You've been at it since 04 now? Five, yeah, 04, 05. You see, six. so that's a revolution. You're about to revolutionize the game. So y'all gonna help the crate do that, right? right? Y'all gonna keep buying those albums, right? Y'all gonna leave here tonight and tell your friend in the cafeteria, hey, I got a new album I want you to check out, man. Put that Gucci man down for just a second. Let me give you some of this right here. We gotta start, we gotta be the mouthpiece. We gotta be a part of this revolution, yeah. all right? Now, let me let me just ask you just two more questions, man. I've taken so much of your time tonight. But do you have any other things that you currently do or want to do besides music? Um. No, I mean, off the top, man, you know, I didn't grow up with my biological father. He was, uh, he, he was on, addicted to drugs, and um, so, and then, and, and, you know, my mother remarried, but he didn't grow up with his father, so he didn't really know how to be a father. So, man, I'm, I'm, I just get really excited. I have three little kids. Um, they're, they're four, three, and seven months old, eight months old now. And, um, and I just, I get really excited just about being a good dad. So that's kind of one of my passions right now is, you know, outside of the music, I think I'll always be in the music industry some way. I'll be training artists or working behind the scenes. But, um, you know, outside of music, I really, really am passionate about being a good father because I just, I didn't get to see it. And uh, I, I look forward to, to raising my kids. That's right. 
If you get no idea, he's married. He's married. I'm just kidding. All right. Now, what advice do you have for kids that want to make a career in music? You said you want to train up artists and stuff. What advice do you have? I know how many of you guys are inspiring artists in here tonight. Okay. Well, you might need some advice. What advice do you have for some of these kids with their hands up? Um. Well, you know, number one is man. It, it's, there's two. There's two ingredients really. There's providence and practice. Okay, that's it. The, the two P's for for to be a successful artist. So to be successful in anything, it's providence and practice. Providence is God's timing. God just has to do what He does at the right time, put you in the right place. Like there's something you just can't. I couldn't help but be born where I was born. Be meet the people I met. God just set those up. So if you don't really. Um, you know, I mean, ultimately God's going to set it up. So if you don't really have an intimate relationship with God, if you're not um, consumed with him and wanting to know his will and, and have your steps ordered by him, then you're just kind of at the whim of whatever happens. So being in tune with what he has going on. And the other thing is practice. You have to practice. Like, the only, the thing I get, I, I get a, a little frustrated by by a lot of these guys, because the internet is popping, everybody can have a song on, or out on the internet, everybody has a YouTube song. Um, but they have put in no practice. And so um, you can't expect to be good. You can't expect to get people to get on BET if you don't have the practice, if you haven't put the hours in. Because, you know, real recognize real, and your car will get pulled. And you may think you're the best thing that happened to Dallas, Georgia, but they will put you in front of a camera, and if you're up there like, I rap all day, I rap all night, yes, I love Jesus Christ. Don't expect people to get behind that. So you really have to work hard. You really have to practice. I love it. <laughs> you gotta work, y'all. You gotta work. Let's give it up for Lecrae, y'all. Thank you, y'all. We appreciate you, y'all. You are always, you're always welcome here, man. This will be like the third uh, guest we've had. We do backstage every so often. We've had.